Hi, this is Ike from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today we book a scooter, a computer, and Mr. Chips. The computer in the candy store from 1984. So let's get started. Scooter Computer was racing home from school. As he was zooming around the corner, <coughs> he noticed a sign in the flower shop. It says, out of business, inside the shop were two men measuring the walls. Scooter wandered about the shop. And the strange men, but he had no time to stop. His computer, Mr. Chips, was waiting for him. They had problems to solve together. Just as Scooter was turning on his computer, his friend Arthur came into the room. What's the problem for today? asked Arthur. We have to finish building our clubhouse, said Scooter. We need to buy lumber and nails and tar paper to keep the roof from leaking. We have ten dollars, said Arthur. Is that enough? Let's ask Mr. Chips, said Scooter, and he typed in the data on Mr. Chips' keyboard. Whoosh, went Mr. Chips, then thump, but Mr. Chips could not tell them the answer. He did not know how much lumber and nails and tar paper cost. We better take Mr. Chips to the lumber yard and get prices, said Scooter. At the lumber, well, at the lumber yard, the boy found out the price and Scooter typed in the data on Mr. Chips. Whoosh, went Mr. Chips, then thump. You will need 32 daughters, said Mr. Chips. 32 daughters, moaned Scooter. You are 22 daughters short, Scooter, said Mr. Chips. The boys felt sad as they left the lumber yard. We need help, said Arthur. We need money, said Scooter. Maybe we just have to forget about finishing the clubhouse. I, I have got it, said Arthur. Let's set up a stand and sell your super duper fruit punch. I don't know, said Scooter. We'll have to buy the cups, the orange juice, the pineapple juice, and the cranberry juice. Could we sell enough punch to make the money we need? There's the grocery store, said Arthur. Let's see how much everything will cost. Arthur checked the prices of the cups, and Scooter checked the juices. Then they feed, fed the data into Mr. Chips. Whoosh, thump. Mr. Chips spoke up. At 25 cents a cup, minus the cost of the cups, the orange juice, the pineapple juice, and the cranberry juice, you would have to sell 267 cups of Super Duper Fruit Punch. We'll never sell so many cups, said Scooter. You could float a battleship in all that super duper fruit punch. No, you couldn't, Scooter, said Mr. Chips. A battleship would displace 300 to 142,000 gallons of fruit punch. Very funny, Mr. Chips, said Scooter. Now Scooter and Arthur would write back where they had started. I know, said Arthur. We could get jobs. Who would who would give us a job? Asked Scooter. How about Mr. Dordley in the candy shop? Great idea, said Scooter. But when they got to the candy store, they were almost knocked over by the two men carrying a big rooter. Hey, I saw them men in the flower shop before, whispered Scooter. Now the candy shop is closed. Mr. Dolly looks so sad, said Arthur. Do you think the candy store is closing too? The boy hurried inside with Mr. Chips to find out. Mr. Dolly 
was packed in, or pacing back and forth behind the candy counter. I need money, he muttered. But to get money, I have to spend money. What's wrong, Mr. Dooley? asked the boys. The flower shop just went out of business, said Mr. Dooley. So I fought knocking down the walls and renting both shops. That's why I have space to sell a lot more things. That's a neat idea, said Scooter. You think so, said Mr. Dooley. Those two men who was here are builders. They said it will cost a lot of money to knock <clears throat> to knock down the walls. They do the job now, but they want to know how soon I can pay them. I can't figure out how much extra wait. I can't figure out how many extra comic books and candy bars I have to sell to earn the money. Well, said Scooter, this is a prom for Mr. Trips. Scooter and Archer moved Mr. Trips closer to the counter. Scooter typed in the data and Mr. Trips went to work. Whoosh, thump. You have to sell 4,000 more comic books and 100 more candy bars to pay for the knocking down the wall. Thanks, Mr. Trips, said Scooter. And he walked over to the rack of comic books. But if you knock down the wall, said Scooter, you have a lot more room for comic books and a lot more room for candy bars, said Arthur. And maybe a soda fountain, said Mr. D Dooley, and some toys and more newspaper too. You might need to hire somebody to help you, said Scooter, smiling in at Arthur. That's right, said Mr. Dooley. I'll sell many newspaper I could afford to pay you boys to deliver them. It's a good thing you two came in here with Mr. Tripp, said Mr. Dooley. You were a big help. It's going to be a good thing for all of us, said Scooter. If we work at delivery boys, we'll make enough money to finish building our clubhouse. Another problem solved, said Oster happily. Think to Mr. Chips. And said Scooter. Whoosh, thump. It was nothing, Scooter. Sobbing prom is what I do best, but I couldn't have done it without you. So that was Scooter, Scooter Computer in Mr. Chips, the computer in the candy store for 1984. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day with another video coming out real soon.